Hi, I'm Sam Edwards for The Wall and today we're talking to Richard Evans from Sky News who is going to be talking about their social media strategy for the general election. So Richard, uh, tell us a bit more about the, the strategy and what it consisted of. Yeah, so I mean it's quite a big approach really for our social media strategy. It went really well. It's always hard to tell these kinds of things without comparing to your rival's figures. We had 10 million video views of our election coverage on just on social media. Um, and 10 million referrals from social media to the Sky News website as well. So those are pretty, pretty huge numbers when you're talking about you know, political issues. And then secondly, the Battle for Number 10 event that we held here at Sky News with David Cameron and uh, Ed Miliband. I think it was right with France and America to stop Colonel Gaddafi when he was going to butcher his own people in Benghazi. Uh, that trended number one worldwide um, and in number one in 15 different countries um, across the world as well. So, you know, we're pretty happy with it. Also, our general affection video that we created. That's been viewed over three and a half million times, and that trended in the UK on Twitter as well. So, you know, there's some big, big highlights for us during the whole campaign. What was the thinking behind the Stand Up Be Counted platform that you guys created for the general election? Uh, the thinking was really simple. We wanted to engage young people in politics. So it was as, as simple and clear as that. There was a problem in 2010 that we noticed that, you know, I think roughly 40, 44% uh, of people between 18 to 24 voted. And, you know, we wanted to help increase that. Um, not enough young people were getting engaged with politics. Uh, I think it's about 90% of young people are on social media. So what we did was combine the two uh, issues there uh, and brought a platform where we were talking about politics and political issues to social media to try and engage people there. An overview of how well the, the social media strategy did for you guys for the general election, what were your highlights? Our highlights, so I think, you know, in terms of talking about the social media performance um, for Sky News, I think it did well. Um, I think, you know, we got 10 million video views on our political um, stories between the 30th of March and when people went to the polls. And we also um, delivered, you know, kind of sent 10 million people from social media networks to the Sky News website as well. So the, the stats were pretty good. I'd say the highlights probably for me were the general affection um, video, which has been watched three and a half million times. Uh, there's also the ballot ballad, um, you know, battle for number 10, um, our event uh, there, it trended worldwide at number one. But there's a few instances where our coverage, you know, really, it went global for this election. And how are you guys trying to integrate new tech and platforms into your social media strategy? I think the most important thing to do with new products is to just experiment. Is you know when Periscope launches, is see how we can use that to our advantage. How can we take our our audience, our, even though it's a new audience on Periscope, how can we take them you know on a journey with our journalists? So people like Kay Burley have been doing really good behind the scenes um, periscopes. Mark Stone today is doing one in China for the ferry disaster. You know, it's, it's how we can use these social media products and tools to really engage our audience uh, in new ways, in new content, and also to try and attract new audiences who are already using those platforms as well.